Marston! Good news, good news. The Coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dámelo, dámelo, besito, besita. Don't be so conventional. Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent. I'll save her for later, or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Bad, right, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you. For all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón. Go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Follow me. A wagon has already been prepared. What are you waiting for? This is your chance! This is very good news, my friend. Then I say the Coronel will find this man for you. For your sake, you best be telling the truth. You have my word. After that trick you pulled on me with the munitions train, I ain't sure that means very much. You have Espinosa to blame for that. Come now, John. After everything we've been through, I think we can trust each other, don't you? How did you find him? They were captured just outside Chubarosa. Every rat must come out of his hole eventually. And being held in the church, a chance for them to contemplate heaven. Before you send them to hell, we have the area surrounded. Oh, cheer up, John. This is what you came for. You are so tense all the time. Come, let's have some fun. A little competition with my soldiers to see who's the best shot. What do you say? Anything better than talking to you. Ah, excelente. Okay. Each man gets five shots at the local wildlife. Whoever kills the most, I will give twenty-five dollars. Carlitos, muestra de cómo se hace. No tienes ninguna posibilidad. Soy el mejor tirador en todo Nuevo Paraíso. Never did tell me why you're hunting this animal. I guess it beats getting a real job. You know, you were less sympathy. People might be more inclined to trust you. Are you married? Or do you rape young girls like your girl? No, I could never touch a woman like that. It's not my way. But for them, it's an honor to please their leader. My wife and child have been taken from me. That's why I have to find these men. I can sympathize with you, Senor Baston. I am married to my country. And these rebel traitors, they're trying to take it from me. No, I never took a wife. A woman can be a powerful force, like my mother, or a destructive one, like my mother. I find it better to avoid them, so many strong men become weak by giving them to temptations of the flesh. Are you ready for another? Bastuca and Isales! Estoy listo, Capitan! So this means your time in Mexico is going to end. I hope so. You know, I will be sad to see you leave. No, you won't. You have helped many people. I'm just glad Coronel Allende was able to offer you the skip in his work. One brave man to another. Does your brave Colonel ever leave his villa? I haven't seen him anywhere near a fight yet. He's the military commander, but he also governs the province. He must be protected. Get out of harm's way. Abraham Reyes? Rebel leader? I hear he rides with his men. How would you know that? Reyes is a coward, blinded by love for himself. 
Now he knows his guy song is important. Our winning battles is never fought in. Now we have time for one more competition. Molinas, the talk at thee. I can shoot the wings of a fly, senor. See, isn't this fun? Won't you feel more relaxed? Sure. In the square. I believe it when I see it. My men have it completely surrounded. There's nothing to worry about. I promise. Like the 20,000 pesos you promised when you sent me on a suicide mission with Espinosa? Yes. It's been a busy time for you here in Mexico. What do you mean? I mean, you have built quite a reputation for yourself. Just following orders, Captain. So many stories of your brave exploits. Mr. Maston, <laughs> gracias for your service to this land. <laughs> Levanten esta pizza, mierda! <laughs> Levántenlo! <laughs> Maston, hey! Maston, <laughs> you have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience, because you're about to meet God. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if you don't get your ropes off. Over here, I will free you.
that the days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, Again, they will know justice. Yeah. My brothers, fight on. In our hearts, we are all free. Let us make it so. Viva la revolución. Viva Mexico. Mexico, 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 Mexico.
provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money. All right, you best be ready to pay up. Wagon you wanted? Muy bien. You do well, amigo. Toma, here is your money. Come see me again. Maybe I have more work for you.
do you? Now stop complaining. Complaining ain't gonna do you no good. You are good work. Hey, señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Mercy! El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Uh -huh. Oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns, 
and money. There won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Let's go. We do not have much time to prepare the ambush. I'm sorry about your father. His death must not be in vain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chubarosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. But I still can't forgive you for helping Allende. For what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Melinda well, betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. But me, you, him, we're all shooting people. Don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston? The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence, and all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso, New Paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. Do you doubt our revolution so much, Mr. Marston? I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. That if we spilled enough blood, we can change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Freedom. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. Thank you again for helping my mother and Miranda to escape. If only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. They feel terrible, but it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him, give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. 
Jack Marston. I ain't been much of a father. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We're going to steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. You have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. Vale, where do you want it? Time. Start here. Another one here! They are coming. Get ready, John. These are supplies to be used against my people. They must be destroyed. There it is. Get ready.
convoy is destroyed. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. <laughs>